So we stay with green. We have now um, a team which is selling smart city trees. We have here uh, Liang. The company name I have to look up is Green City Solutions. <laughs> so, yeah. Can you imagine that 90% of all people living in cities are breathing polluted air every day? Can you imagine that every seventh death today is due to air pollution? Hi, my name is Liang. I'm CFO and co-founder of Green City Solutions, and we make clean and cool air profitable. So the danger about air pollution are its main components. They're mostly invisible to our eyes. But for fine dust, for instance, every 10 microgram in one cubic meter of air shorten our lifespan by half a year. That's why my family's life expectancy in Beijing has decreased by 15 years just in the last five years. And you might think this problem only exists in Asia, but as you can see, many European cities are suffering from it. Many European cities also fail to comply with the legislation set by the EU and will be heavily fined for it. So our solution to this huge problem is based on an awesome system that has worked for billions of years, and we use technology to make it even better. I'm talking about plants. Plants naturally attract fine dust and bind it on the leaf surface. And to boost that effect, we use a special combination of patent-pending plants and moss, because moss has a leaf surface much higher per square meter than even a tree, and it can bind up to 10 times more fine dust than a tree. To provide the perfect growing environment, we have developed a connected, automated irrigation and monitoring system. And then we raised the efficiency even further by installing all of it vertically. This is the city tree. The city tree filters fine dust and nitrous oxides, and it can bind up to 200 tons of CO2 equivalents per year. At the same time, it provides clean and cool air. We have, developed, uh, we have integrated a PV panel, a rainwater collection system, to store the water in the water tank. And this makes it almost self-sufficient. In our first customer conversations back in 2013, they came up with the idea to team up with sponsors to finance the city tree and display it with logos or writings. And we took it a step further. Now we can even display a QR code or implement technologies like Apple's iBeacon and thus provide an opportunity for mobile commerce. The city tree cleans the air in the middle of the city, and it displays visual information. And that's why it can address two markets, the market for out-of-home advertisement and the market for air cleaning measures. And in Western Europe alone, we are talking about a market size combined of over 8 billion euros. But an even bigger potential for us is Asia, with cities like Beijing, who are spending over 96 billion euros just on pollution abatement. This is our first installation in Germany. Our first customer is a, bigger, a big health insurance provider in Germany, and our business model relies on direct sales with a gross margin of over 65%, 2,000 euros of annual service fee, and after-sales services such as seasonal planting concepts. In many customer interviews, the city tree has proven to be the better solution. One advantage, for instance, is the temporary deployment. This makes it possible for us to fight hotspots temporarily or use the city tree for marketing campaigns. Now, this is my team. Um, it's a unique combination of skills. I'm the CFO. I've studied business administration and informatics with work experience in China. Then there's Dennis, our CEO. He is an architect and has worked for Renzo Piano on the development of the Shard in London. Peter is a plant specialist. He has worked for horticulture companies for over 12 years. And then there's Victor, our mechanical engineer, who has also worked for the Fraunhofer Institute. In 2013-14, we closed a seed financing round with over 300,000 euros, and we project our break-even by the end of the year. And right now, we are looking for someone, um, like uh, we're looking for a strategic partner, someone who can help us to fulfill our vision someone with expertise in the field of marketing or in the field of um, city infrastructure. Now, our vision is to create a climate infrastructure, uh, a solution for cities to fight air pollution, and a solution for cities to adapt to the consequences of climate change, because we want to improve the life quality of people living in cities. 
And if you want to help us to make clean and cool air profitable again, please talk to me and don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you. Hi, Jan. Um, you, you mentioned that you have a 65% margin. What's the price for one tree? Uh, 22,000 uh, 22, euros okay. for the basic version for air filtration. Okay, and uh, what's the decision? What are the decision criteria of a city to buy the trees? Um, right now, for instance, we have um, um, a pilot project with the, the city of Reutlingen, and the decision criteria, um, for instance, are how big their air pollution problem is. So there are several cities in Germany who suffer more from air pollution than others, and then they would have to pay a higher um, fine, um, a higher penalty. And based on that penalty, uh, they make the decision to either adapt like um, environmental zones, and if environmental zones don't help, which most often is the case, they are looking for newer ways to fight that problem. So they can eventually save money. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And you mentioned the large Asian market. Max has been to Hong Kong. I mean, yeah. China, China, we know the pollution levels there, 96 billion potential. Yes. How do you make sure that they buy your trees and not uh, a copy of it uh, which has been built over there? Oh, well, first of all, I have to tell you all that um, the idea of intellectual property in the last year in China has changed a little bit. And another point is um, that our solution is not only the physical part of it. Um, we provide uh, planning with um, particulate simulation. We, we have a plant database from which we can select the plants with the best filter um, capabilities, for instance. We have um, a parametric product design, so we can adapt our product to a specific situation. And we also um, are working on an algorithmic mapping system to, de to determine where the city tree is placed the best and which orientation is the best. Okay. Thank you, Lian. Yeah, thank you very much. <clears throat>